Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing a pair of uh, minimalist sandals. This is from a company called Luna and here's their uh, logo and website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys make minimalist sandals and they're extremely well made and I've been wanting to work with Luna for a really long time and met these guys at Outdoor Retailer last August uh, out in Salt Lake City and they were nice enough to send me out a pair of their Oso 2.0s. So that's what's in this box right here. I'm going to unbox them because that's what I do. I'm going to unbox things for you and show you why it's cool and then we'll get on the trail and we'll do some uh, we'll do some miles today and see how they perform. Alright so first things first I'm gonna move my uh, my tripod in a little closer and then you can see how I'm unboxing the sandals. Alright so here we go Luna sandals these are the Oso 2.0s, so let's get these open. Gives you a little bit of uh, background on Luna Sandals. All right, so just a brief uh, history on lunasandals.com. Basically, is chronicled in the book Born to Run, Barefoot Ted uh, went to Mexico to run in the Copper Canyon Ultra Marathon in 2006. While he was there, um, he was befriended by a local runner named Manuel Luna, who helped him make his first pair of Hirachi sandals out of an old tire. So Barefoot Ted also had learned that native people around the world have been thriving in simple sandals for thousands of years, which is pretty cool. You know, there's a lot of history behind this. By 2007, Barefoot Ted was making and running in his own sandals and sharing his discoveries. In 2010, Barefoot Ted and his friends were busy making sandals in, their, in Ted's garage. They were refining designs through epic adventures. An explosion of interest followed as Luna Sandals was born. Today, we produce all our Luna Sandals by hand at our sandal factory in Seattle and send them out to adventurous monkeys all over the world. The lunatics. It also gives you a nice little, you know, lunatic, you know, welcome letter. Thank you so much, Barefoot Ted. Actually signed by Barefoot Ted, which is pretty cool. Made in Seattle. It tells you how to set up the tech strap. Set that off to the side. Here are the sandals right here. They give you a cool Luna sticker. This is the Oso 2.0. This is the most rugged and aggressive trail Luna that they ever made. So. Vibra Mega Grip Outsole, Vibra Midsole, Monkey Grip Technology Footbed. It's a 13 millimeter base and four and a half millimeter lugs. Performance laces, and they weigh uh, 9.2 ounces for a size uh, nine medium, which is what these are. Then it gives you a nice little, you know, Luna owner's manual. It tells you all the cool uh, Luna sandals that they offer, as well as a bunch of cool history on Luna sandals itself. And then it also comes with two tech straps, and I'll get to that in a minute. All right, so here they are right here. These are the Oso 2.0s. Luna branded right on the heel, which I really enjoy. Very minimalist sandal, but I mean, look how thick those are. I said, those are pretty thick. That's, uh, that's about three quarters of an inch almost. And look at the, look at the lug pattern on the bottom here. These are Vibram outsole, mega grip, very aggressive tread pattern. You can see how deep that is. Straps go around the bottom here. And they're protected. I was, I was a little concerned about seeing this on the bottoms because I thought maybe they were going to wear off, but these little rubber guys right here are very hard and these will definitely uh, protect these straps. Uh, from wearing out prematurely. So what you do is basically you loosen them up, get them as loose as you can. And you know, just before I get them on, one thing I really want to say, kudos to them, made in the USA, right, right, right in Seattle. So what you do is you get your, your foot kind of laced in just like that and adjust the strap and then you kind of just pull this thing across just like that. Now these are a size nine and just the strap alone on my foot feels really, really nice and soft. And I enjoy it. It feels really comfortable. The, on the back here, I'll get this loosened up again. I'll take it back off. On the back here, this little guy is nice. And it's almost like neoprene kind of a material, very wetsuit kind of a material feel to it. Super soft around the heel, right around the Achilles, which is nice. So once again, put them on, get that right around, right in between the two, the big toe and the, the second toe. And you kind of just pull this strap and secure it onto the foot. 
Now, once these things are in place, they're not going anywhere. You know, these things are really secure, and, you know, you may have a little bit of uh, chafing going on right in here, but not, from what I can tell, it's, the strap is pretty soft. They do have this Luna branded little patch right here, but just doing this, I can tell that it's kind of a little rubbing, so to speak. But let me loosen it up a little bit, and it probably wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, it's a lot easier when I loosen it up. Now, these are a size 9, and, and I was a little concerned about these at first because, you know, usually I average about a 10 and a half to an 11 size shoe, but these, a size 9, fit me way better than I thought they were going to. They have a really nice uh, template design on the website, so you can actually print it out, put your feet on it, and then, you know see exactly what size you're going to need because that's always the challenge when you buy shoes or any kind of footwear uh, or apparel online is that you can't test it. You can't try it on and see how it feels. What's cool about that is they actually have a template on the website that you can use. So here's the tech strap right here and the way the tech strap works is basically you go around the heel right around in here and you kind of secure that into there and this one goes around the other side here and kind of goes up like this so now that's in place just like here it goes around the whole top of the foot here so that's really going to secure things down and your your foot is not going to slide around or rub it's going to stay secure and it's going to keep you you know more secure on the trail especially when hiking long distances so really nice flex is nice the footbed is really really nice too the bottom lugs here are soft, so it's really going to help grip the ground around, especially uneven, um, uneven ground. So it's really going to help grip on rocks and sticks and that kind of stuff. So these are super nice. And I can see on the front here, all those little bumps right around here, super nice and grippy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other tech strap on. As I said, this kind of goes around the inside here, it secures in place, and then the other one goes around this side. And once those are in place, your foot's not going anywhere. These things are going to stay solid on your feet. Now, keep in mind, Luna sandals are made and designed and built and shipped 100% right here in the United States in Seattle, Washington. So that's amazing to have a company that's, you know, local here in the United States that builds, produces, ships and manufacturers, R&D, everything is here right in the United States. Kudos to them for actually doing it here and that makes me want to support local even more. So great job Luna, I really appreciate you guys. So if you guys are looking for an alternative pair of shoes to bring with you on long backpacking trips or long day hikes or just regular day hikes or just, you know, tooting around town, definitely want to make sure you check out Luna sandals. You can strap these to the outside of your pack, you know, take them with you into the backcountry because when you're on a long backpacking trip or a long hike, there's nothing better than taking your boots off uh, and just kind of letting your feet breathe out. Uh, another great thing is for stream crossings. You don't get your boots soaking wet or run the risk of getting your boots wet. You just put these bad boys on, put your boots strapped to your pack, and then you can do your stream crossings, but you know you have quality footwear under you that you're not going to damage the bottoms of your feet, you're not going to break your toes. You know, there's, there's protection there, but it's a minimalist design. Not to mention, they don't weigh too much. So for stream crossings and just for like bouldering or hopping around, you know, just tooting around camp, these are absolutely fantastic. All right, so I'm off on a little day hike today and I'm over at this uh, local Spanish mission here on the central coast of California. And I'm out here with my Luna Oso 2.0s and I'll show you what I got. So yeah, just day hiking it up, testing some gear. Beautiful day. Finally got some rain down here in the central coast and for the most part it's been really nice. I'm going over to this uh, little spot that the old ancient Chumash Indians used to use as basically a um, it was a water water storage place. And you can see the uh, there's the that's how they would channel it down here through underground springs over here.
This is a pretty cool area. I like it. It's called La Purisima Spanish Mission in Lampo, California. Or correct pronunciation would be Lampac. All right, so the Oso 2.0s from Luna Sandals. Uh, this is day one, doing day hiking with these bad boys. And I really liked them. You know, they're a little stiff at first, but they're breaking in really easily. Yeah, I did about 10 miles today. My feet feel good. A Little bit of uh, rubbing going on at the, the center strap, right in between the big toe and the second toe, but that's just because they're brand new. So I imagine they'll wear in, get a lot softer. So no big deal. Nice to just get out and do some day hiking. You know, we live in such a beautiful place. It'd be a shame to just not get outdoors. All right, so I just got back. I just did like a 10 mile loop uh, in the Luna Oso 2.0s and I um, have them on my feet right now. There you go. And uh, it was, yeah, it was about 10 miles. So really good hike. Um, the first 10 miles I did, they were pretty, pretty difficult um, breaking in. So other than that though, they were, you know, they're okay. My feet were pretty sore the first couple of miles. Um, after that, they were totally fine. So I just did another 10 miles today and my feet feel fine. Other than that, that's about it, you know? Great all-terrain sandal. So good job, Luna. I'm a fan. Okay, so I'm doing a little day hiking today with my Oso 2.0s from Luna. These are really, really cool. I'm actually training John Muir Trail right now. Kind of give you an idea where I'm at. It's a nice little hill. I was just up there about five minutes ago. The trail comes down around this way. And it goes down there, all the way down to the bottom. I really like my Oso 2.0s from Luna. The more I wear them, the better they feel. Thank you, Luna, for making awesome sandals. So when I first started wearing these sandals, my feet were hurting after a 10 mile hike. Um, I'm getting more used to them now. They're way more comfortable after they've been broken in. And I really like them. So these may be the sandals I'm taking on the John Muir Trail. But the more I, the more I wear them, the more I like them. Super thick. Tons of traction. All right, so day one of training for the John Muir Trail. Just hiked up to the top of uh, Lookout Point or Roger Hill. Um, many names. It's about, I don't know, seven to eight hundred feet and a quarter mile. Full pack. So my view from here. Day one of training. Starting off light. I'll do this about three or four times a week. Should be ready to go by the time August hits. Yeah, so, yeah, it just, um, so not only did I, you know, go up this little trail, I also did it in sandals. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. Sandals. These are my Luna Oso. 2.0s and they're super comfortable nice to have my feet breathable instead of being stuck in a heavy boot so thanks again guys i appreciate you coming with me on my little uh journeys and watching my videos and my reviews and uh, all the support you guys give me so you know without you my valued subscribers i can't do what i love to do on a weekly basis and give these videos to you guys so thank you from the bottom of my heart just letting you know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys. Get outdoors.